If this were 2015, I'd have to spend this entire talk convincing you that climate change is real. For better or worse, that's not the case today. Our roads are flooded, our air is polluted, our forests are burning. We all know climate change is real. It's an urgent problem to fix. But this is not a doomsday talk. This is about opportunity. This is Brazil's Itaipu Dam. It's the biggest in the country. The second largest generator of electricity in the world. And its carbon emissions are zero. In fact, 80% of the electricity generated in this country comes from renewable sources, compared to like 20% in the US. And that means that every gasoline-powered vehicle that we can take off the street and replace with one that's powered by electricity is four times the emissions reduction here in Brazil compared to the US. But if you're like most of us, when you think about electric vehicles, these are the brands you think of. Tesla, Rivian, Volvo, expensive luxury cars aimed at the rich who are only switching to electric because of this belief in the conviction of the planet, not because of economics. But this is availability bias at work. These are the brands that are putting their images in front of you. The story of the world is very different. We've managed to put 20 million electric cars on the streets of the world, but 280 million electric motorcycles. Amazing progress has largely gone unrecognized in the West. The countries leading are China, Europe, and many other smaller Asian countries. These vehicles are aimed at the working class. Their decision to go green is one based entirely on economics. And LATAM has some barriers, but it's going to catch up. What are the barriers? First of all, the electric vehicle costs about twice as much as its gasoline-powered equivalent, mainly driven by the high cost of batteries. Note that this is only an upfront problem. Once they buy the vehicle, an electric vehicle is about 75% cheaper to operate and maintain than its gasoline-powered equivalent. The second barrier is low productivity. About 50% of the motorcycles on the streets of Latin America are used for commercial purposes by couriers or moto boys, as they're known locally. These guys do about 150 kilometers per day. The current vehicles can manage about 60 kilometers, not even half what they need in the day. Charging infrastructure doesn't exist, and even if it did, these guys don't have the time. Charging in the middle of the day would imply a huge hit to their productivity and thus their earnings. So it's not a viable alternative. Finally, the big corporations, such as Ambev or Mercado Libre, who also have large motorcycle fleets, cannot make the investment in electric unless the energy that powers those electric vehicles is completely clean and they have full transparency. With the current solutions, that's not possible. However, solutions to these problems do exist, enabled through a technology called battery swapping. Battery swapping is the technology that enables a rider of an electric vehicle, when he's low on battery, to pull up, take the batteries out of his motorcycle, leave them with us. We give him different, fully charged batteries that he can put inside of his motorcycle, and he can continue right on his way, in less time than filling up for gas. With this, we can break these barriers down. First of all, we can rent the bike instead of selling to him, eliminating that upfront cost because these electric vehicles are connected to the internet. We know where they are at all times. We can turn it off at a moment's notice, thereby eliminating a lot of the risk otherwise inherent in this rental model. Second, because we can put a station on basically every corner of the cities, the range of these electric vehicles becomes infinite. And finally, because we're doing all of the charging, we have full transparency and we can guarantee that 100% of the energy used comes from renewable sources. Vamo, we're focused on implementing these solutions. Some would say this opportunity is electric.